just very briefly, this is um, all the takeaway container. You get them off Amazon, a lid on top. You cut the hole in the bottom, not the top, because you're going to place that on top of the uh, hole in the crown board so the bees have got access to the icing. And when it runs out, it's in the bottom, you just lift off the top and replace it with fondant icing. Okay, so I'm just going to mark that out. I've got um, a bee scape and a Stanley knife. Hole in the bottom here. Very easy. Slides into the fondant icing very nicely. Cut that out like that. There we go. That's a little bit of plastic. Slid into the fondant icing like that. Now that goes on top of the crown board, the hole in the crown board. And the bees now have access to the icing. Let's, let's make their day. You can't see me, but you don't need to see me. Have to work nice and quickly and gently, as always with the bees, but especially quickly at this time of year. It's a cold and damp day, although I'm very hot in this bee suit. Just slide that off like that, pop that down there, take the lid off. This is chalices, it's got a different setup for myself. Yes, look, they've taken most of that. I had it in a plastic bag. I don't like it being in plastic bags. I'm sorry it's smoking. I think I've got fondant on the lens. I'm going to take that away from them and give it to them in the Tupperware. It's much easier to replace. You just lift this bag off like that and the fondant that's in there won't be wasted. There you go, girlies. Get them down. Go down. Good girl. Just going to take off this sticky so the... And I'm just going to line up this space that I showed you with the hole that's in the crown board here. Go on, baby. Down you go. Like that. Voila. So when I want to, when I come up here again, and if this is empty, I don't have to do that again. I just lift the lid off here, put the fondant icing in, job done. Boom, back of the net. <laughs> okay, so pop this super back on. It's got its insulation in there. And pop the lid back on, back on, sir. Et voila, beautiful. all on properly. I'm just going to shake these few bees by their entrance. Yes. Shake them out of here to the entrance and the hopes it will go in. I tell you, Chalice's bees are amazing. This is a very prolific hive. It's going to be fabulous. It's the biggest one, I think. And whatever the weather, they're always out flying. So come on, girls, off you get. That's it, good girls. There you are. And this fondant here won't be wasted. I'll put it into um, a container. So it will be put to good use. Once you become a beekeeper, you certainly will not be wasteful. Think like a bee. So there you have it. You can use the plastic bags as you just saw, but my preference is to use a plastic container because then with the hole in the bottom, you can just take off the lid, put, fill that up with fondant, put the lid back on and you don't disturb the bees. But uh, that's my way. Beekeepers are like gardeners, any hobbyist, uh, we've all got our own ways of doing it. You'll find your way, but uh, if you haven't checked your bees, go and check them.